What's up Cubers, my name is Kenneth. Today we're gonna to talk about the top five easiest puzzles to solve. And I'm gonna start with the Pyraminx. And here we have an original Mefferts Pyraminx and it is old as can be and barely turns. But let's talk about why it's so easy. First off, these tips here, they're very trivial. So all you gotta do is twist them and they get into place. They're always one move away from being in the right spot. So, and then when you move these, the main moves of the Pyraminx, it is pretty easy to get the pieces where they belong, but it's not, you know, super trivial. It can be difficult when you get started. So here we go, we can get started. We, you can easily solve the tips like this, and then you can pick a side to solve. Um, and let's see, let's pick this side. Where's the orange piece right here. So we can do, get these orange centers to match on this side. So the side's orange. And then you can put these pieces in uh, extremely easy, just using kind of block building moves. So we got one in, two. Man, this puzzle does not turn well. <laughs> there we go. And this one, oops, I missed that one up. We can get this last one in as well, just kind of using block building turning moves. Um, and here we go. And then when you're done with this side, all that's left really are these three pieces. And they're always, uh, they're, there's not very many cases. So right here we can see they're misoriented and you can easily come up with your own algorithm to fix these kind of issues. Um, and really I'm just kind of using intuition here um, and I'm gonna kind of just use, continue to use block building moves. And there we go, the thing's solved. Very easy and that is the Pyraminx. The fourth easiest puzzle to solve is this one. Here we have the Gear Cube by Oscar Van Deventer. And I'm a very big fan of this puzzle. It's really cool the way it moves. When you turn this side, the opposite side will turn the opposite direction because of the gear pieces. So anyway, you can scramble it up. So when you're scrambling it, the corners are always a couple moves away. I'm done scrambling. Actually, maybe I should scramble it more because these corners are only just one move away from being solved. So let's actually scramble it a little more than that. So let's go like there. So now let's see if we can get these corners, how far they are. Let's see, it's one move, two moves, three moves, and four moves. So the corners and their centers are all solved in four moves in this, this case here. Then uh, all we have to do is move these edges around and come up with an algorithm to do that. Very easy algorithm. So now all of our edges are solved. Then all you have to do is deal with the orientation of the edges, which is super simple. You just kind of rotate it until the edges are solved. And there you go, that's the gear cube. So very easy. This is another puzzle that uh, kind of looks like it might be difficult, but actually it's very easy. So anyway, there's the gear cube. Next up we have the dino cube. The dino cube is another easy puzzle and they have two variations. This one you can see like each corner, all the pieces have the same color. Uh, the other variation has a different color on each side and I would prefer that that variation actually. That variation may be slightly harder um, and it has a unique solve state where this one there, is, there really isn't a unique solve state. And this one you can see each piece has the same color whereas if you had each side a different color this, this kind of edge piece here would have two colors on it. One of the things that makes this puzzle easy is that each piece doesn't really have an orientation, at least the sticker variation, the pieces don't have an orientation, but even the other sticker variation where the pieces do have orientations, you can't actually misorient a piece. When it's solved, you can't actually just flip a piece. So you only have to worry about permuting the pieces and putting them in the right place. So anyway, we've now kind of scrambled this puzzle, so let's solve it. We'll maybe do this blue. Let's do this green. We got white and red, so maybe we'll make, let's see, this side white, this side will be red, maybe. So, like this, like that, like that. And, well, look at that, we're done. So that's the Dino Cube, very easy puzzle. Yeah, not much to say about it, but it looks really cool, and I really love the Smaz sticker variation where they're kind of cut out like this. I think it looks really great. So anyway, that's the Dino Cube. Up next, we got the floppy cube. This is the uh, second easiest puzzle to solve. And you can see it scrambles up really easily. This is a really cool puzzle. I really like the floppy cube because it seems like it's an impossible puzzle. You can see when it's mid turn like this, you would expect this corner just to fall off because 
you can see it's not connected on this side. And then when I turn it over here, it's not connected on this side. So it seems like it might just fall. But if you look really closely, when you look closely, you can see that when the corner piece comes up like that, the center piece kind of flexes. So that's how it's able to all stay together. There's a lot of cool things about this puzzle. It's always nine moves, within nine moves away from being solved. That's the God's number of this puzzle. There's actually an algorithm you can learn, which is called the Devil's Algorithm, that uh, if you were to, to move it, it's like 192 moves long. It'll take you through all 192 positions of the puzzle. And so you would be able to just start doing that, that Devil's Algorithm, and eventually it'll take you to the solved state no matter what, which I think is, is pretty cool. Anyway, let's see if I can get a, a good scramble. That's a pretty good scramble. And we'll see if we can solve it. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I don't know if that was an optimal solve or not. Probably not. But I uh, was able to do it under that nine moves. And yeah, there we go. That's the floppy cube. Very cool puzzle. So before we go to the last puzzle, I'm going to show you some that didn't quite make the cut. Here we have the dodo cube. That didn't make the cut because really it, it's trivial. There's there's no, it's every state is the solved state. So it didn't really count. So that's why I didn't include it. Uh, I also didn't include some very trivial puzzles like this one. It's just a one by one. You can't scramble it, can't solve it. We got this one, the one by one by two. Uh, this is just a simple puzzle made out of Lego. And, and look at that. It's got a little USB stick in it. And I have a video on that. One of my first videos I've ever made. We also have the one by one by three, another puzzle that's always two moves away from solve and another puzzle that's just too trivial really. We have a two by two by one, which I have a tutorial on how to make this puzzle. And this one's trivial as well because it's always within three, three moves away. So let's count the moves. One, two, three, solved. So there you go, that's the two by two by one. And here's the last puzzle I almost added to this list and it is the one by two by three. I have a tutorial on how to make this puzzle back when I had, I think 300 subscribers, something like that. So definitely check that puzzle out. Uh, this puzzle is, I think really cool. I don't think they have a mass produced version of this puzzle, although they do have the Rubik's bear, which is basically this puzzle. But uh, this one is really a fun puzzle and it's similar to the floppy cube and it's always pretty close from being solved. So let's see if I can solve this one. I think I went, I'm going further than I needed to, but there we go. And yeah, that's the one by two by three. Very cool puzzle. So here we go. This is the easiest puzzle to solve. It's the Pyraminx Duo by Mefferts. This one's always within four moves of solve, but I would say it's non-trivial and um, it can kind of get confusing to people. So that's why it's still included in this list. So when I solve this puzzle, I always try to do it in at least four moves because it's always four moves away. So let's see if we can find the four moves this time. Let's see, blue, blue, blue. So, no, maybe orange. Okay, let's try it. orange. So we can go one, two, and three. Ah, did it within the four moves. So anyway, that's the Pyraminx Duo. It's always four moves away, but it can get a little confusing and it's a really fun puzzle. So anyway, there we go. That's the Pyraminx Duo. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks guys for watching. And of course, have a great day.